guys, what's up? Welcome back to Yang Yang TT. I've been getting a lot of requests asking me to make one video about how to organize a training session. I'm sure many players know their weaknesses, but they don't know how to improve them, what kind of training exercises to use, and how to plan an hour or two hours training sessions. Don't worry, you will find your answers in this video. I will invite my student Hansen as a demo again. Hansen is a 21 to 2200 player with a solid and consistent techniques and also powerful forehand. I will show you how I organized our two hours training session in this video. He spends two to three minutes doing body stretching before training starts. We hit some easy forehand drive to warm him up and get some feelings of the ball. Here comes the official training. One spot. Two spots. Three spots. We spent 20 minutes on his forehand topspin with the two spots and three spots exercises to improve his footwork and stabilize his stroke while moving. Counter loop is harder than topspin loop close to the table, but it will help you with your brush generate more spins on your loop. Back and drive for 4-5 minutes to warm up. Then stay one step back to practice backhand topspin loop. One spot, two spots footwork exercises. Now we are going to use some transition exercises to improve forehand backhand transition. Some exercises you could try like one backhand, one forehand. One backhand, one forehand at the backhand side. One backhand, one forehand, and one more forehand at forehand side. The more transition exercises you could cover and feel comfortable with, the better you can prepare in the game. So for the first hour training, I focused on Hansen's techniques, forehand and backhand transition and footwork. Now I'm going to train him with some multi balls to improve his underspin loop and the flick. Forehand underspin loop, two spots, whole table. Backhand two spots, half of the table. Forehand flick plus one backhand topspin. Backhand flick plus one forehand topspin.
Now, I'm going to use some game-oriented exercises to help him apply his techniques to the game. A lot of players feel they have a good techniques. They play very well in the training. But why they don't always perform well in the game? That's because they lack of game-oriented training. They don't know how to apply their techniques in the right way in the game. You have to train how to deal with the ball if your opponent drop shot, flick, or play long of your serve. Also, serve return is very important part in the game. You have to train how to read the ball, how to predict where the ball will go, how to return or even attack on your opponent's serve. Those training exercises will really help you with your real game. Alright, that's today's lesson. Thanks for watching. This is just our one day's training. Every session will be slightly different, but the main purpose is the same. Finding your main purpose, the most important things you want to improve. Stick on that for a while and organize your training session. Ask your personal coach or leave your comments let me know to design your customer training session. Good luck with your table tennis. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. How do you feel after two hours training? So tired. Tired? And what tired. else? <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> go home, take a shower. Yeah. Let's do two more hours. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna